What up, motherfuckers? It's your boy, Jay Peasy. Man, we've been cashing on these early morning. Well, for me, early morning, because I'm on the West Coast. But these afternoon baseball games, we've been killing it. But these play of the day videos haven't had a lot of life out there for people to soak up this information. Because by the time the video comes out, you know, the game's starting, you know, within the next hour or two, man. So we taking it all the way to the evening time, the Friday night game tonight, man. Give you guys enough time to watch the video, like the video, share the video, drop some comments, and get the word out there, man. And hopefully, we cash on this Friday night, man. We going to the Mariners and the Mets. Now, let me say that the Mariners are not really a team that I bet on a whole lot, man. Not a really a team that I really focus on, man. I mean, honestly, I go through most of the baseball season and forget that the Mariners are even there, really, because I, I don't really pay attention to them too much. Now, I have bet on them one time this season. That was when the Toronto Blue Jays came into Seattle. Uh, at that time, uh, Seattle was like 6-0, and 7-0 and on Friday nights at home. Everybody was on the Blue Jays that night, man, but I knew that the Mariners hold it down at home on Friday nights. Now, that streak was interrupted by the main team that they are battling for in the AL West, and that's the Houston Astros, man. They lost a undefeated record at home on Friday night to the Astros. The battle continues in the AL West between the Mariners and the Astros. They struggling for that top spot, man, and the Mariners, they bounced back after that loss. They're 9-1 on Friday nights, and now we got the Mets coming in from Coors Field to play the uh, Mariners in Seattle on Friday night. I just think it's a bad spot, man, for the Mets. Now, we got multiple angles to look out. I'm not one that really uh, subscribes to the fact that teams leaving Coors Field are an automatic fade. I, I, I don't subscribe to that. Teams leaving Coors Field and travel... Sometimes they win, man. And as far as this travel thing, if there's a resilient team that can uh, go through some rough travel, it's the Mets. I mean, the Mets sat in the damn tarmac in Miami uh, for like, you know, multiple hours. Then finally, you know, got into New York at like two in the morning and some shit. Still beat the pants off the fucking Yankees, man. So I'm not holding that necessarily against them. But when you got... Uh, multiple angles that just stack up. We got the travel. We got the Mets going from city to city to city to city. We got the barely blemished uh, home record on Friday night at home with the Mariners. And we got the fact that they leave in Coors Field. I mean, when, when you add all of it up, it looks like it's a pretty nice spot to be on when you get the Mariners at a very short home fa uh, favorite, minus 126 at, at the house. Um, you know, the Mariners face this uh, NL East uh uh, battling team uh, last Friday when the Phillies came to town. And what did they do? They beat the pants off them, beat them like 10 to 2. So I know the offense for the Mariners is not something that you really want to put too much faith in, but they have it in them. And they just beat the pants off an of NL East team too, the top NL East, NL East team, the Phillies. I think they could do it again, man. So my money is going to be on the Mariners Money line, I got it at minus 126. It's a nice cheap price, man. I think it goes down. It's your boy, JPZ, and I'm out. <laughs>